Morning folks, can Morning. you see us? Oh, do you want to lift that blind up behind you, Pat? We, we've been watching Camper Van Kevin, so that blind down. That's better. Can see you. <laughs> well, things didn't sort of go according to plan yesterday. Because um, we just can't. I mean, Skegness is. Really anti motor home, really. It's barriers everywhere. I only know of one place you can park <coughs> in Skeggy, and I suppose I got you lose track of days. I do sometimes, and I didn't realize really I shouldn't have gone there on a Saturday because uh, it would just ram. I know where to park, so I thought we'd better go inland for a weekend. Um, and I needed, well, I didn't need, the gas bottle was down to the end of the yellow um, on the gauge. And I didn't know, what, that's the first time I've used it, so I was unsure how much I had left in the bottle, how much I'd used. So I knew there was um, an LPG station over here. Um, so I decided to go there fill her up, which I did, and then come here to Horncastle. You've used, with, it cost you £13, didn't it, to fill it back up? It's quite an expensive place, that, that where one. we've been. You can get it cheaper than there. Um, so it cost me £13. I can't remember exactly how much I put in it. I thought it was nine, nine point summer mm -hmm. litres. Um, but it what? It, it I think it holds twenty two pound full, twenty two quid. So it was just less. So if I put thirteen in it, two thirteens is twenty six. Mm. So it won't. So it would have been. 11, wasn't it? So it were over. Oh, yeah. heck, it's getting darker. Mm. It's this sun, sun here. coming out. Yeah. So we've got his hat on today. Over there. Yeah. So it, it was um, just under. Like, just over half. I'd used just over half a tank. So just under half a tank left. Um... But anyway, I wanted to top it up and it was the first time I'd done it my sense, so I wanted to find out what it was like and it was alright, it was easy. Um and then we come here to Horncastle and that's when I realised I mean I didn't even look um on the app because we'd been here before I knew where it was. I rang them, booked two nights and arrived and when I arrived, I was, oh, I thought it was hard standings, but it ain't. We must have only ever been here in summer. Never been here in winter. Mm -hmm. So I parked with my front wheels on the road. There's only two of us here. There's only two there? of us here. We're going on Mondays, nobody likely. If there is, there's, 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 they're all right. Plenty of space. Plenty of space. Um, in the caravan that's with us, they've been here over a month. Yeah. Um, and uh, they live in the caravan. Yeah. Been living they're in it going, fifteen years. They're going on Monday, aren't they? Cockgrove, Graham's neck of the woods. I reckon. Oh. I don't know if it's that site. Well, that in Cockgrove, that site we used to go to, Graham. Um, it rings a bell, does Cock Grove, anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so, we didn't go out last night uh, for a meal, because it started raining. It got really dark, didn't it? And it got right dark, well, it, yeah, it would. 
I would have been walking down there and back in dark. So we, we, we thought we walk. We might go today. But then I said, well, we're, we're going tomorrow. We're going to Woodall Spa. Woodall Spa. I haven't rung them yet, so I'm hoping there's a... I didn't go at weekend because I reckoned... I think they charge more money at weekend and it'll be busier. So I thought, oh, we'll come here at weekend. It's only £15 a night here. And with a hook-up. Um, so tomorrow we'll go to Woodall Spa and hopefully get in on the site there. It's like an air, but there's hook-ups. Um, it's at the park, isn't it? Yeah. It's Jubilee Park, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, outdoor swimming park. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going in, it's too cold. Yeah. <laughs> and the, we know that they've got a curry house there, so mm. we'll 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 wait until Monday, I think, and go and have a curry on Monday for our anniversary. Mm. And the other thing, well, two things we've discovered about this LPG gas. Is it's hotter. Definitely warmer in here. They don't half kick out. It's kicking out more heat than the El than the um, Cala mm. did, didn't it? Yeah. Um, but consequently, something started happening because my I'll I'll show you the gauge. I'm oh plus. You see that the left hand one with the green light on it. That's to set the temperature, the middle bit sets the the, the thermostat um, and the outside ring, it's on just it, um, room heat rather than water and room heat at the moment. Now when on a morning, when it's been on, I put it on around about 8 o'clock to warm it up for when we get up. When it's been on an hour, there's a, a red light started flashing on it. Now, I've got to have a look at that. In the, uh, see if the manual says all about it. Um, but I've been um, turning the thermostat down or putting it on electric to stop it. And I'm wondering if my regulator is um, not coping with... Not, you know, it's, it's the original regulator, I think. And it may be getting old. Um, that's the regulators in the gas cupboard, the gas locker with the bottle. So I, I do believe the regulator is the same for calor, calor propane as it is for LPG. But it might be getting warm um, and not reducing the pressure like it should or what, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to investigate that and I might have to send off for a new regulator. Yeah, so that's two things that we've noticed. Yeah, <clears throat> since we've got the LPG, it's a lot hotter. Um, but that started happening, so need to investigate that. <clears throat> I don't know if that's happened to anybody else. Probably not. <laughs> things that happen to us never happen to <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> um, so I think <coughs> today it's going to be dry, cold and dry, and the weather <coughs> is programmed. Well, it's the weather's. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not programmed. The weather is forecast to remain cold for the rest of the week. Where it rose van gone down. It's been a while. He's unloading. Yeah. That we'd have nosy, aren't we? <laughs> um, so today, it's n there's no rain or oak forecast, so I think we're going to have a walk down into Horn Castle. Maybe call him for a drink and walk back. Yeah? Yeah. I think, I think that's what we're going to do. Now, I filmed Horn Castle. You can, I mean, if you do a search on our channel, 
uh, a walk round Horncastle or just just put Horncastle in. I'm sure videos of Horncastle will come up. Plus we have done it. Been here before. So I won't film it unless there's a specific to, to film about it. Yeah. All right, folks. So we'll see you later. You've got out to add to this no, love, I am. discussion, darling. No. How are you feeling? All right. That's feeling okay. <laughs> yeah, everything's everything's all right. At the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. We're back again. <laughs> now then, mysteries of all mysteries. This. This red light coming on. I got the manual out and it said if the red light flashes, it means that the battery is low, the leisure battery is low. I can't understand it because we're on a hookup. So I checked the battery and lo and behold, it's low. And when I checked the, looked at the main screen, the lightning symbol once wasn't there meaning we weren't hooked up but we were hooked up the fridge was working and we had an electric heater on on low that were working so when i looked in the wardrobe cupboard where the um, control panel is you know where there's fuse boxes the the, the black box that we keep the little, you know, that little portable cooker, the black box that we keep that in, we're covering it up. When I looked, it, it had knocked the switch off. So there's the fuse box in the van was off. When I turned it on, straight away the lightning symbol appeared on the screen and the, the battery was charging again. So does that mean that when you hook up the van, all your 12, all your 13 amp sockets, all the electric systems working, but it's just not charging the battery. All that that does, the hook up is doing when you turn that power, you know, the fuse box on the switch. Is charged the battery. I didn't. I didn't know that. I didn't think anything would work if you, um, if you didn't have that turned on. Obviously, fridge were on and little heater was still on. So fridge were on, little so heater were on, lights were. Everything was working all right, but that that detected. So the the the, the fan. On the gas heater must run off the battery of the leisure battery not to do with the mains and because that that switch was turned off it had run the battery down we don't know how long it had been off we don't know we don't know how long it had no. been like that no so it's got nothing to do with the regulator in the cupboard it's it's just that it was the battery. So there you go. You live and learn, don't you? All right, folks. See you later. Well, this is the Indian restaurant. It's a good job we didn't walk down here last night. Because they're not open. There you go. I think cars are noisy, aren't they? Cars are noisy. Yeah, there's the bookshop. Up in his own. What the heck is that? Well, there's your car park there. Huh?
Oh, they've got a call. I didn't know that was it, did you? No. Vet. The feeding ducks down here. I once went in that Tesco. I hated it in that Tesco. All the all the um, aisles were really close together. Couldn't move. Horrible. Well, we've had a walk around, haven't we, Pat? And got yeah. some a um, couple of bits from co-op to take back to van and called in here at the bridge. It's a cafe. It's not a pub. I might add. Oh no. We're sat again the fire. We're sat again the fire. There. Yeah. And we're going to have, that's having the cottage pie off that menu up there. And I'm having the curry, chicken curry. They're not like pop curries. Good job we didn't try walk down last night for that curry house, innit? Well, we won't have been disappointed, won't we? I'd have been throttling you. 